So I thought I would start a vlog. Seems like the in thing to do right now. And uh, since I'm back on the floor for a little bit, uh, I'm gonna be working on some cars for a bit. So, and uh, have a day-to-day -day, uh, grind. Back to the day-to-day -day grind. Let's go over and visit Terry. See what Terry's doing over here. Terry, what do you got happening here, buddy? Uh, doing a timing belt. Just trying to figure out where the marks are supposed to be. Well, I wasn't handing that to you. I was gonna take a look at that uh, artifact of uh, a tool there. Oh. How old is that thing? Yeah, it's the knuckle buster. Probably about 25 years old. Uh, I'm saying that's conservative in that number. Yeah, see, see it was so busted up it comes apart on its own. Yeah. And I'm over here doing a Subaru and I'm doing a transmission oil change and a some coolant hoses on a Subaru. 2011, 300,000 kilometers, wow. Not bad. Uh, a little rough. That's because the knees are getting old. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to capture how much, uh, I'm going to capture all the oil of the transmission to see how much was in there, see if it's low or not. Now for that, we use this graduated oil. Bucket. This is actually hard to do with one hand. Oh, that's pretty dark. What we're going to do is we're going to look up the factory spec on this and uh, see uh, uh, what we take out if it's what's supposed to be in there. Pretty much exactly four liters in this car. So we're going to start off by putting four liters back into it and then we are going to check the level the good old-fashioned way with the dipstick. My first problem is this uh, drain plug bolt doesn't seem to have a washer on it and it should have a little sealing washer on it. Had a little bit of a leak and I thought for a moment maybe I had dropped it but I've looked at my oil bucket and it's simply not there. So I've got to go sourcing for one and it's a weird size. Good morning Joel. first off, very first car we have a problem. Good morning Lou, what's going on? The drain plug bolt on the pan for the transmission. Strip? No, no, it was just it was out without a washer. Okay. And uh, we don't have one. Did you check? I have diligently done my job and checked to make sure we don't have one. 12, 12, 14, 12. Confirmed we definitely don't have one. 10 mil, that's weird. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Joy. Alright, the crisis is averted. We're going to move on to a coolant change now. Just going to make a mess. Once I remove the cap, it's going to allow some air to get into there so this will start going again. So we're going to let that drain for a bit. Oddly enough, the Subaru actually has two upper rad hoses. Kind of strange, right? This is one of the best tools any technician's going to have. It's for doing the uh, import style hose clamps. Look at that. Squish. Oh yeah. Now it's really quite benefit when you got a tight spot with this one's pretty easy, so I'm gonna go back the old-fashioned way. Why complicate things, right? The bane of my existence is trying to find the tools that nobody says they use, but every time I go into my toolbox, something else is missing. Terry! I used to have a hose pick once upon a time. I want to borrow yours. Thank you. Now, I remember a time that uh, in the early 20s when I became a young mechanic, um, we never used to wear gloves. And uh, the fellows that had been working for years used to wash their hands in Varsal. 
I mean, little reversal. They used to go to the tank, and they used to stick their bare hands into the tank, and they'd all the way, all the way up their arms, and you know, and they're, and they'd smell a reversal the whole day. I'm like, Ugh, I can't imagine how uh, hard that was on their skin and whatnot. But most technicians now wear gloves. Let's go harass Terry a bit, see how Terry's doing. What's up, Terry? How you doing there? They're all back together. Get the belt on? Good job to get that dog on by yourself now. What a job to you are, you are aware that I was right here, right? That's okay. Ten twenty, and I'm hungry already. Uh, vacuum tool. Parts, please. I just need you to tell me if this car has a CBT or standard transmission, if you mind. Uh, last eight are B2, 236. Okay, so it's not a CBT. Thanks, pal. Okay, bye. Alright, let's finish up this Subaru and see what's uh, happening up front. You got outbid, Juwan. Let's do that. Juwan's trying to buy a car. How much transmission fluid did you use? Just show. Basically five liters. Five liters, so what? 4.8. Yeah, just take one liter off. And um, cooling was okay? Yeah. Use the full, full jump? We're pretty close to it, yeah. Well, I'm gonna head upstairs. This is my first ever vlog. I'm gonna go take a look at the footage right now and see if I've got anything that's usable. And I'm gonna eat my lunch because I'm damn starving. Thank you for watching my very first vlog. Hopefully you made it this far. I mean, if you're watching this, I guess you did. Anyways, have a good one. I'm gonna clean up and go home.